and Task Force Chairman on Prevention and Control of Coronavirus in Imo State, Professor Morris Yu, has disclosed that a three-year-old from a family of four have tested positive for the virus out of the 42 new cases in the state. Although he said 25 of them are not from the state, just as he also informed that seven of the cases are active. Meanwhile, he will also disclose that the state government is ready to have at least 100 persons tested daily as part of its measures to contain the spread of the virus in the state. Out of those uh, 42, the 25 of them are not in state. The ones we are having now are mainly those deriving from secondary contacts. That is the, from the contact tracing of people who had the virus earlier. We now find that there's community transmission. And this is why we have to be very, very careful now as to what we are going to do. It is important to stress over and over again that the virus is real. It is important to also stress, to stress that the fact that one has a virus, that it is not a death sentence. That like most viruses, uh, you may have the virus, then you, but you may not be sick. But that does not mean that the virus does not exist. Right now, we have seven active cases that have been uh, isolated in the state. Out of those seven, only uh, one is, uh, is uh, symptomatic. The other ones, we are just trying to observe them and then see how they recover. Uh, one of the sad things is that uh, one of the, the active cases, we've just tested the family members and three out of the four children proved positive, and they will be brought in into isolation. This is a very delicate issue because one of them is only a three-year-old. I don't think uh, he, he, uh, the, the baby knows what we are talking about. So he would think that we are taking him to a play center. So we got to have to make special arrangements for a three-year-old. Two, I've, I've, we attended some, and we are going to attend some more churches. This Sunday, we are going to go practically into some churches on our own as normal uh, worshipers and see what's happening. Some of them are restricted by the size of the church. They have to maintain the social distance even inside the church. They have to wear uh, face masks inside the church. They also have to wash their hands before entering the church and after for the for purposes of, of the health of, the, of, of those who are, who are actually worshiping. So if you if they obey those uh, those rules, we don't think for now that there is need for us to have a special guideline separate from the federal government. The federal government just released one today, and those that's the one we are also following.